Questions being raised about whether a police officer accused of murdering a suspect is getting preferential treatment. It's a case we've been following since April. That's when Officer Stephen Rankin reportedly shot a shoplifting suspect in the Walmart parking lot on Frederick Boulevard in Portsmouth. He faced a judge today, and that's when the question started. Ten Year Side's Andy Fox was there and joins us now. Andy? Yeah, Nicole and Tom, we wouldn't be spending any time reporting this issue, except the issue is important to the man overseeing the case, the judge, and it is an important issue to him. Judge Johnny Morrison had two issues. They still have me he told Commonwealth's attorney Stephanie Morales, defense attorneys still don't have the discovery evidence they need to properly defend former Portsmouth police officer Steve Rankin, at which point she produced evidence, 109 pages and seven discs of it. Rankin's attorney, James Broccoletti. Obviously sparked uh, some action because we got something this morning. Uh, we're not sure what's there. We haven't had a chance to take a look at that. The second issue dealt with how Rankin entered the courthouse through restricted access gates, suggesting privilege because he was a former police officer, a friend of the court. Judge Morrison concerned when he saw Rankin in a restricted area behind the courtroom. And I said it because I want to make sure that we all avoid the appearance of impropriety. You understand that? The judge says, you understand? Avoid the appearance of impropriety. Portsmouth Sheriff spokesperson Lee Cherry. I can certainly understand his reasoning, but at the same time, it is our responsibility for the security of this courthouse. Rankin's accused in the first degree murder of unarmed William Chapman back in April. His family says Rankin's special access does look improper. The treatment is totally different. If you were a regular civilian, no, you would not be brought in the back, from the back. You've been brought, I mean, you came in through the court door. We have done this before in cases where we felt that we could have a volatile situation in the courthouse. And so this is not the first time, and I'm sure it won't be the last time. And the bottom line is this, is that when all of this was playing out, the judge wanted to know exactly what was going to happen from here. It is clear that the defense wanted to have uh, the case continued from February 22nd. The judge said, no, we are going to have it on February 22nd. You have your evidence. Let's move forward February 22nd. That's the latest from Portsmouth. Andy Fox, 10 on your side. See much more on this story and all of our previous coverage dating back to the shooting itself right now on wavy.com.